Hello everyone, welcome sa ating YouTube channel and for today we're gonna be applying a water soluble fertilizer sa ating mga succulents. So this is the type of fertilizer that I'm using. We commonly call it as the triple 8 fertilizer kasi 8% lang yung kanyang nitrogen, yung kanyang phosphorus and potassium. So yung 1 tablespoon nito is already good for 3.5 liters to 5 liters of water kaya sobrang tipid niyang gamitin. And itong fertilizer na to is from Japan and ano nandun na siya sa ating Shopee and Lazada store. So I think I've been selling this for a very long time just in case you're also interested. Meron tayong half kilogram and for you to save more, meron din naman tayo yung ating 1 kilogram na packaging. And so for today nga, I will be showing to you on how I usually apply itong water soluble na fertilizer na ito. So I'll just be using yung 1 tablespoon or yung 1 single pack and para mas mabilis nyo siyang i-dissolve since it's water soluble, I advise na ilagay nyo siya sa isang... Maliit na container. For me, I'm just using a uh, water bottle kasi mas madali siyang i-dissolve dito as compared if i-dissolve na natin siya directly sa 5 liters of water. So, after natin siyang ilagay, may kita ninyo na talagang nadi-dissolve na siya agad. Although, it will really take several minutes before it will completely dissolve. So, immediately after putting it sa water, may kita ninyo na yung tubig natin will change yung kanyang color and we are trying to achieve a darker color once fully dissolved na nga itong granulated fertilizer natin. And since medyo madami tayong if you fertilize today as in literally lahat ng ating mga succulents and plants dito sa ating rooftop, a-applyan natin itong ating liquid fertilizer na ito, then I will be adding more para minsanan na siyang ma-dissolve. And by the way, in case you have ordered yung parang 1 kilogram packaging or 500 grams packaging, pwede nyo siyang ilagay sa kahit na anong container as long as dry siya, hindi siya naaarawan and hindi siya nababasa para tumagal siya even for 1 year as long as nasa cool and dry place lang siya, you can always use it anytime. So, while waiting for it to completely dissolve, let me give you a quick update nung iba nating mga succulents na nandito sa ating rooftop. So this is our succulent arrangement that we did several months ago. I don't have any problem with all of the succulents in here except that our sedum angelina bush is constantly growing and I think we have to trim it right away kasi this one is a very invasive na succulent. Maganda siyang tignan as a filler kasi it's color green, tiba It complements the color of the other succulents. Pero pag nasobrahan naman, tatabunan niya talaga yung iba natin mga succulents and that's something that we need to avoid. The next succulent that I wanted to show you is this Madiba succulent. So it's potted in this parang 11 inch or 12 inch na pot. And literally, sobrang laki na nito. If you're wondering how it looks like before, ganito lang siya. Nasira din siya ng aso and I thought hindi na siya magso-survive or makaka-recover. But look at it now. Sobrang laki niya na. It has three heads and sobrang bilis niya ring i-propagate. Right next to it is our sedum burrito. Mayapapansin ninyo na some of its leaves are dry or yung iba talagang literally nalalagas na kasi nga I haven't watered this for quite some time pero ayan no, it, it is continuously growing next is we have this sedum palmeri na ito mapapansin ninyo na nag start na rin siya magkaroon ng fungus and so after we apply yung ating fertilizer kailangan na rin natin siyang applyan ng ating contact fungicide kasi it's the season we're in prone sa fungus yung ating mga succulents dito sa highlands or sa bagyo. So, itong mga ito, we have our variegated Choco Moonstone na nawala na yung kanyang variegation. And we have our Ionium na Sunburst. It's one of my favorite. Siyempre, hindi mawawala itong ating variegated Teotoban. So, yung nakikita nyo ngayon is the propagations lang kasi yung pinaka main stem or mother plant is this 
Ayan siya. So, I didn't expect na mabubuhay ko ito. And look at that. Napakadami niya ng offsets. Something na I will propagate anytime soon. Katabi niya is we have this variegated Mendoza succulent na ayan o, oh, lumiliit siya kasi nga yung kanyang mga leaves are drying, it's dehydrated, so we have to water it as soon as possible. So, buti na lang liquid fertilizer yung gagamitin natin. Kaya, kumbaga, 2-in-1 na. Nakapagdilig na tayo sa kanila, and at the same time, nakapag-fertilize na din. So, ayan yung ating mga succulents. And ang pinaka nag-glow up talaga sa aking mga succulents right here is itong ating Ellen. So, ayan. I'm trying to compare it with my hand and if you're wondering kung ano ang itsura nito 3 months ago, ganito lang siya. So literally, we just took some cuttings if napanood nyo yung video na yun. And after 3 months, ganito na nga siya. So how much more if we will be applying a fertilizer? For sure, mas lalong lalago yung Ellen na yan and our other succulents. And so right now, ayan, I think ready na yung ating triple eight fertilizer kaya ang gagawin na lang natin ngayon is ihahalo na natin siya dito sa ating 5 liters of water so definitely itong 5 liters is not enough for all of my succulents pero if konti lang yung inyong mga succulents siguro 5 liters or 3.5 liters would be enough so ayan sobrang dali niya lang gamitin may mga naiwang granules sa loob and you don't need to throw that Ang gawin nyo lang is lagyan nyo lang siya ng tubig ulit until mag-completely dissolve siya. Then, yun yung ilalagay nyo ulit sa inyong mga succulents. So, we will just be mixing it like this. Ayan, tiba So, sobrang daling i-mix sa 5 liters of water pag talagang completely dissolve na yung ating granulated fertilizer. And, ayan. Ganyan yung kanyang itsura. And right away, pwede na natin siyang ipangdilig sa ating mga succulents. So, this one is water-soluble. So, it's completely okay if malagyan natin yung leaves or rosettes ng ating mga succulents. So, if you can avoid na mabasa yung kanilang mga rosettes or leaves, then it's better. Pero, syempre, hindi yun may iwasan. Kaya, it's best na malaman ninyo na okay lang din naman kahit ma-applyan natin unintentionally yung mga leaves ng ating mga succulents or plants. So, you can actually put this directly sa inyong succulent soil if you want to. And also pala, it's best to use this pag talagang schedule na ng watering ng inyong mga succulents. So, for example, in my case, talagang hinintay ko na mag-dry yung soil ng ating mga succulents before I apply itong fertilizer na ito kasi I don't want na ma-overwater yung ating mga succulents. As I've mentioned earlier, 2-in-1 yung ginagawa natin, watering our succulents and at the same time, fertilizing na din. So, we are almost done fertilizing all of our succulents. So, itong ginagamit natin is also a quick-release fertilizer. So, ibig sabihin, once we have applied it, talagang the nutrients will be readily available to be absorbed ng ating mga 
plan. So, yung application nito is usually every two weeks during the growing season. And since it's the growing season of our succulents here in the Philippines, I need to apply this more often sa aking mga succulents. So, depende na lang yan sa inyong location. Dito kasi sa Baguio, medyo matagal magdry yung soil. Kaya, yung watering ko talaga is every month or once a month. Pero sa inyo na, for example, in just two weeks time, talagang kailangan nyo nang magdilig ng inyong succulents, then pwede nyo nang isabay itong fertilizer na ito. So, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page, A Desert Succulent PH.